大家好，欢乐的本期视频啊，那么今天呢，咱们来一起读一读呃 c d a Lab 的最新的这篇文章，其实是两篇文章啊。那么第一篇文章讲的是李光景的 c d a X 背后的一些研发的故事，从产品的规划到它的这个宣发 marketing， 到它的这个工业设计，以及它的这个在线的说明书的编写。你可以看到，李光景呢，实际上把在线的这个 menu 用户手册放在了一个非常高的一个地位，而且也派出他们这个最有经验的工程师。去编写这个文档，所以这个理念其实跟咱们频道是非常一致的。咱们频道也是一直致力于给大家去研究产品的设计，尤其是它的这个说明书。第二篇文章呢，讲的主要是叫 CDX Development Story Touch Screen UI， 这是一个系列文章。那么截止到七月二号呢，实际上刚刚发出来两篇。呃，这个是主要讲住它的这个触控屏的 UI 设计。现在一直以来，李光景达都没有出中文版的，这个是非常遗憾的一件事。呃，这个系列文章的策划，因为我是知道的，是在今年的三月初就是已经开始策划了。呃，你可以看到这篇文这个照片的拍摄时间是二零二二年三月二十三号的中午十二点二六，就这个系列文章去讲述整个李光景达产品背后设计的一些故事。你看到这个产品团队里面整体的这种风格是比较稳健的，因为你会看到年龄呃中等偏上的人会是比较多的。那么这里面可能最年轻的就是川俊言了，川俊言这个工业设计师。然后这篇文章叫《We Interview the Project Managers to Get Behind the Scenes Look at the Birth of c d x 就是要讲述李光 c d x 从诞从它的这个策划到诞生的整个的过程。那为什么要做 c d x w h a t went into the planning of c d x 史密祖清水右界，清水右界刚才咱们也说过了，是 c d x 一的产品经理。那么他也是参与了策划，第一代的是二零一三年设计出来的。那么这世界上第一个，那么能够一键拍摄三百六十度画面的相机。而且呢，到二零二一年，一共出了有七个不同的版本。这个七个版本，咱们频道，呃，都体验过，但是给大家讲了，只是讲了一部分。因为从我也是从二零一三年开始去接触到这个李光景拿的这些相机的。所以 ，current line of three models， 现在的就是整个产品线上主要主打的是三个产品，一个是 c e t a Z 一，一个是 c e t a X， 还有一个是 c e t a S C 2。In the beginning, c e t a became popular mainly among innovators who saw the value in new visual experience. 那么在一开始啊，呃 c e t a 相机呢是在只在一个很小的范围内流行。这是一个范围呢，就是 innovators， 应该说是整个的数码的先行者。那么只有这些人能够看到这种一键拍摄三六零的它的这种视觉上的体验和它的这个影响力。But it has gradually gained popularity with a variety of people, including camera enthusiasts. 那么这里面就是受到了一些相机的狂热的粉丝和拥趸 ，people who use it for social network communication and people who record their trips， 呃 ，camera enthusiastic， 这个也是和咱们频道定位是比较像的，就是会喜欢去追求相机的一些比较极致的能力，那么用一些社交网络的这个交流以及去记录自己的生活。As the six images become more popular, people tend to want more. From their functionality such as improve image quality, operability, durability, and ease of use. 那么这四点应该说是李光景拿在设计和制造全新相机里面的考虑的四个要点。第一个画质，第二个可操作性，第三个可持续性，它的可靠性，第四个就是它的易用性。We have therefore decided to satisfy all these requests, which we have not been able to realize in the past. In the next model, order to make c e t a even more useful, to encourage even more people to use it. 实际上，在 c e t a X 出来之前呢，这四个能力啊，呃，往往是前三点是被满足了，而第四点呢是没有满足的，或者说前两点是得到很好的满足的，而三四两点没有好。这是为什么呢？你看，大家可以理解 c e t a Z 一双英寸传感器，一块画质，这是一骑绝尘，可操作性也非常强，有插件系统，但它的续航非常差 ，durability 不好。而且呢，使用门槛非常高。呃 ，Ease of use 的典范呢，就是 Insta 三六零。呃，而 C S C 二呢，就是整个的可操作性、可持续性和易用性都很好，但是画质却差强人意。所以呢，你会发现李光一直很难做到一个产品，就是能够在这四个要素里面能够做到一个相对均衡，并且相对又非常完善的一套产品的这个体系。所以呢，这是为什么他们要做 C D X， 因为 C D X 可以说在这四个方面都达到了一个呃完全不同的水准。So was C D X initially intent for consumer use rather than business？ 那这句话的信息量是很丰富的。它是说 C D X 呢，是不是说一开始是为了消费型的相机而设计的，而并不是面向于这个 To B 的应用
，也就说明目前的 C N X 在市场上，它主要面向的这个群体呢是 To B 的 business 的用户，商片用户。然后，清水又介绍了，就是 We had a specific image of people who are interested in technology as our initial target users。那这是对技术感兴趣的人，就是他的产品用户群。那么咱们频道就是这种对技术很感兴趣的。Regardless of whatever, regardless of whether they are using it for private or business purposes, we felt that there are many such users for Cita S and Cita V。这句话我并不是特别认同啊，因为那个 Cita S、Cita V。呃，应该说，使用它的这个用户群里面，对技术感兴趣的，它这个还不是完全对等啊。呃，但是确实是这些用户里面有不少是，因为包括咱们频道也是这么一路走过来的，对技术感兴趣。那么是符合线下的用户群的。Inami， Inami 这个是叫江波。那么江波就回答到了 ：There was a time when we had daily discussion among the team about the personals。Of these users, 就是他要讨论用户群画像。During these discussions, we come to the conclusion that users who are interested in technology have the mindset of wanting to make something convenient. 这句话很重要啊。李光也逐渐意识到了，就是大家希望去要做一些想做点方便的事情，也就是这其实是易用性，是易用性的这种体现。大家还是希望能够门槛低，用起来简单，而且画质比较出众。Since then, I have been imagining that if more and more people would foster that kind of mindset, still would be used more widely in the business scenes. 那么他的这个视野还是在 business scenes， 在拍摄整个的 to B 的应用里面，但是要做到足够的易用啊，足够的好用。呃、uh, ，mindset， 我忘了什么意思，心态。那、嗯、么 foster 什么意思？促进。那么这是这个意思啊。我的英语确实不，好长时间都不考试了，现在英语退步的很厉害。啊，这个是 i n g i i n a m i 这是他的 C X 的产品经理，应该是他主导江波婴儿，主导了整个 C X 的产品的最终的形态。江波婴儿就回答 ：There was a time when we had daily discussions， 这是刚才说过的。然后清水就说的 ：At the time the corona pandemic has just begun， 就指的就是新冠。And although C T has gradually become more widely used in business industry， the pandemic triggered the worldwide。Proliferation of 360 imagery with commercial virtual tours. 那可以说，疫情这件事情啊，对于三六零的产业是一个促进。它促进了人们更多的人们实际上对于虚拟漫游、商业的这种虚拟漫游的这种需求，比以前要更多。因为大家没有办法自由的走动，呃，你要想获得一个身临其境的体验，那么 360 commercial use virtual tours 是一个非常好的一种形式。所以呢，这个就是疫情的大的背景之下呢，那么对于 Virtual tour 这个领域的一个反向的一个促进促进作用。Again, this backdrop, we saw that by 2022, when there's new models go on sale, Cita would surely be using mainly business things. 那么他们也认为，在二零二二年刚上市的时候是面向一些商业应用的。This is why we set the concept of the new model as a platform camera that is useful for work and daily life. 那么这句话就是 Cita X 的一个定位了。叫 a platform camera that is useful for work and daily life. 那这是一个对日常工作和日常生活都很有用的一个相机。那么为什么叫 platform？ 就是这个词，这个词我不太清楚应该怎么去翻译啊。就是整整个就是你对 to B 应用和 to C 都合适的一个比较好用的、比较抗造的相机。Certainly, the pandemic has led to more opportunities than ever before to utilize the six images, such as virtual tours of real estate properties. 这个就是让疫情之下大家，尤其是这个商业地产里面，大家对于拍摄三六零照片，那么有更多更多的需求。好，然后这个清水又接着说 ，With CX, we wanted to enhance the ease of development of the API and plugins compared to previous models. 那么他会把试图把这个开发的门槛要降低一些。The large touch screen make it easier to use and develop plugins. We would like to have various outside vendors like CDX to their systems and make use of it. 实际上呢，当你有了一个交互的屏幕的时候，那么你开发插件的门槛会降低很多，因为你的交互的方式现在就变得门槛很低了。那原来这个按键实际上，呃，这个交互的手段是非常非常有限的。但现在有这个触控的面板之后呢，所以为什么第二篇文章要讲触控面板？就是触控面板对于第三方开发者来说，那么是非常关键的，那就让克制化 C N X 成为了可能，而且呢，成为了一件门槛很低的事情。C N X， 那么这个是平川惠理女士带着她的儿子去
旅旅行的画面。平川会里待会儿咱们会讲到。好，关于平川会里，你是咱们待会儿会讲到，这是 CNX 背后在这个市场化运作的一个很关键的一个人物，而且也是非常勤奋好学的一个人。CDX 十一 K HDR CDX design CDX features a large touch screen and a new half moon shape for the shutter button. 就是它的这个快门键是个半半圆半月形的。Kawa 就是这个人 Kawa 就是他是 Hiko Kawa。这个应该是指的是他的工业设计师叫川俊彦。We design CDX as the evolution of Cita Z1 and Cita SC2, combining advanced operability with ease of use. 他是把整个的呃，比较先进的可操控性和易用性合二为一。At the first model in the series features large touchscreen. The design configuration is a major change from previous models. For this reason, from the beginning of the development, the team went back and forth on the overall design, including buttons and lens. 那这个指的还是工业设计，就是工业设计，因为工业设计实际上是决定了这个产品的交互的能力。Did you encounter any difficulty in design? 那么就是因为它的这个工整个的工业设计的定义，于是他来完成的，川崎彦来完成的。而负责实现的这个叫呃 ，Takahashi。Takahashi 是高桥。The design of the glass part of touch screen and the shutter button was one of the most difficult aspect. 就是指的是这个正面这个设计啊，呃，这个面板包括这个玻璃手感的半月形的快门键，应该说在拍摄的过程中，呃，在在整个设计实现过程中是挑战是最大的。But we were able to incorporate the design team's request to use a single sheet of glass that covers the touch screen and wrap around the lens bezel and the face of CX。上面这块盖板玻璃呢，这是一个完整的盖板玻璃，但是它中间做了一个圆形的挖孔。这个实际上这个做法成品率可能是很有限的，但是会让整个设计变得一致性很好，而且很连贯。所以这是一块玻璃。After considering various designs, I think we were able to achieve a clean, uncluttered look. 就是一致性、连贯性很好的、很整洁的一个外观。确实很漂亮这个设计，因为 CTX 的有四个那个内部，就是至少公开给世人看到的有四个状态的。那么最终最漂亮的确实就是现在发售的这个 CTX。呃 ，Enami, we also made Many mock-ups. He has done a lot of mock-ups. They have been checked many times with our team. We discussed the color, gloss, and other details of the body and the shutter button with everyone paying close attention to the details. He has done a lot of mock-ups. 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 He has done a lot of 其实它里面，尤其是这个快门键，怎么手感怎么做的好，这是在样机的时候，那么反复讨论的。The shutter button C X is larger than the previous models, but the design team worked to ensure that the shutter can be pressed with stability, no matter where the button is pressed, using a straight line as the axis. 呃，这个实际上这个按键的设计还是挺难的，就是它按住这个半月形的任何一个位置，整个按键都是水平的，直上直下的。这个有点像是，其实是像那个 MacBook 键盘的那个剪刀型的结构，就是你按住任何一个角落，它这个它这个按键都是整体的上下移动的，这样的话手感就非常好。CDX had to support replaceable battery in the SD card for the first time in the series, so we also had to think about how to accommodate this in the design. In the end, we settled on the shape that would allow the battery to be inserted into the side of the camera, taking other design consideration into account. 呃，这个话说起来很高端，但实际上做起来还是应该说，呃，理光 C 塔 X， 理光 C 塔还是有很多可借鉴的，因为它的电池舱的设计呢，实际上是完全借鉴了这个 G R 3相机的。大家如果用过 G R 3相机的话，那么 G R 3的这个电池和它的型号是一模一样的，而且 G R 3的卡槽跟这个设计也是如出一辙的，所以它应该是沿袭了 G R 3只是把大卡换成了小卡。并且，如果你是一个 C 塔的资深玩家的话，你会知道这并不是第一个可以更换 SD 卡的。在 C 塔 S 的时候呢，实际上它有 SD 卡槽，只不过没有开放出来。呃，如果把相机拆了，你可以把那个8 GB 的 SD 卡换成1 6 G 或者3 2 G， 以增大容量。只不过当时这个功能没有开放。那 C 塔 Z 一的时候，由于采用 EMFC， 所以你就没有法去更换内存了。C D X marketing measures. 那么 C D X 是怎么做这个市场宣发的 ？Was there any difficulty in terms of marketing C D X? 那么这个就是平川惠理女士所负责的业务了。呃
啊，应该说它在整个的这个 marketing 里面起到了非常关键的作用。CDX has many functional features, but we need to make it easy to understand what makes CDX different from other models. 那么它要把 CDX 的这个差异性啊，很好的体现出来。它和尤其是和 CDX C2 和 CDX Z1 的不同之处。And we thought the most important feature is the large touch screen, which makes CDX very easy for anyone to use, just like a smartphone. 那就像 CDX 就像一个智能手机一样，那么对于每个人的使用来说，门槛很低。We were conscious of the fact that the large touch screen make it easy to use, and we wanted to convey this virtually. In the creative work of websites, 那么这句话呢，应该说信息量也比较丰富。就是说，我们意识到，就是大型的触摸屏，而且做到易用这件事情，并不是特别的简单的。而且这也是 CX 本身的一个亮点。而且呢，它对在宣发的时候会着重的去强调它在这方面的能力，尤其是在这个网页上。那么这个还是这个平山惠女士带着她孩子去旅行的时候拍摄一些照片。Regal City has only three models, but even so, we There are many people who don't know which model to purchase. I think we need to continue to show which model is best for various needs. 呃，这就是这三个高中低这三档的这个差异性啊，一定要充分的体现出来，要让大家能够很快速的做出选择。所以我怀疑这也是为什么 CX 一直没有给 Raw DNG 格式的原因。因为如果是给 Raw DNG 格式的话，那么它和 C 塔 Z 一的这个差距会进一步的拉小。然后这是另外一个做市场的人，叫 Masago， 叫正子。Marketing. While the development of CTX was underway, we were conducted a number of customer interviews. For example, many comments say connecting a smartphone is troublesome, and I believe that CTX has become easy to use model for such customers. 呃，因为 CTX 可以像手机一样独立连接 WiFi， 所以它就不需要再接触 App 去控制了。尽管它依然可以通过 App， 但是呢，你不用 App 的话，你的体验其实反而会更好。啊，这个就是左边这个人，就是那个 Hideki Masago， 牙牙子英树先生。啊、uh, ，What was fun about launching a new model？ 那么在呃宣发发布一个新的产品的时候，那、嗯、么有哪些有有兴趣的、值得回忆的事情 ？Cedex's first model features a large touch screen and new UI, so there were many first-time specification. We tested the product from a user's point of view and immediately provide feedback on how we felt, noting which part was hard to use, while design development teams immediately consider improvements. 那么这个就是内部通过市场的宣宣传内部的这种市场宣发的反馈啊，去给到开发一些改进的方向。Although only a few people are involved in city design and development were carefully selected, and I think each and every one of us have high awareness of the need to create good products, I felt that getting involved in manufacturing is one of the best parts of working for a manufacturer company. 这句话信息量很丰富，就是李光，就是平川惠理女士啊，就是她的市场部的负责人呢，在 X 这块儿了。呃，他把李光定位成一个叫 manufacture company， 是一个生产制造型的企业，就是他生产制造的是相机的产品，就是他把李光定位成一个硬件的厂商。然后呢，这件事情就是在这整个的这种内部的反馈和迭代不断改进的这个过程，他认为这是最有意最有意思的一件事情。And get involved in manufacture is one of the， 就是你的想法变成现实，然后不断的迭代，不断的优化，这个就是做硬件的一个必经的之路。然后接下来这个是我最感兴趣的，是 C D X User Manual， 因为 C D X 的这个说明书写的真的非常好，很就像一本字典一样，而且这是在线的，你可以检索，啊，篇幅特别长，我特别喜欢看那种很长篇幅的说明书。The H T M L manuals are the available on the web were updated first time the C D X released。那么这个就是电子版的说明手册，这是在网页上 updated time C D X released。那么在 C D X 发布的时候就进行了及时的更新。那这是这个。在线手册的撰写者叫 Kenichi Nakamura， 那么这个人叫中村健一。好，那我们来看看，呃，在这里 ，We had been talking about revamping the HTML menus on our website to make them easy to use。实际上，这也是相机易用性的体现。现在 Insta 三零也是这么做的，看到也是这么做的，呃，圆周率也是这么做的。And we completely redesigned them at the time of the CX release. For example, we add images of each product to the first page for selecting the model. So that users can easily find their models at a glance. 那么他用了一些可视化的引导。We also added a new search bar, which made it possible to quick find the relevant explanation by entering the keywords you want to look up. 
所以说，在这次的这个 CDX 里面呢，应该说整个的在线这种用户使用说明书的这种设计是给我留下非常印象非常深刻的一个特点。CDX first feature light touch screen and UI for the CDX in complete redesign. I imagine it was difficult to produce the menu. 实际上这次呢，就是它的说明书的撰写难度会高很多，因为这等于你要写一个手机的说明书，而你见过哪个手机拥有说明书的呢？因为这个触控的可能性是非常多的。The touchscreen feature was totally new. For, for the most part, we create a menu for the scratch. We were very conscious of the need to explain each function in a concise and easy to understand manner. So, 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 呃，前期的时候有些内测的版本，当时咱们频道也收到过，并且还做了一些这个校对，应该说也是比较有幸啊，参与到了整个的说明书的这个编写校定的过程中。I would like to thank the members of the project team who worked with we every week to discuss the menu， 就是它是当时有周会制的，每周就要讨论这个整个的这个说明书到底改进哪些地方。哎，这张图其实挺有意思的。那么这张图呢？这这个呵呵这个我不知道是不是选图没有选好，就是这也是平常会女士拍的照片，但是这次的呃用的好像 C 塔 X 用的是 C 塔 X， 但是桌面上的这个皮夹呢是 C 塔 Z 一的，是吧？所以说官方的这个人也是觉得 C 塔 Z 一那个硬质的皮包的设计是更好的一个选项。The feature of C 塔 X。Uh, the model was originally planned for consumers. The touchscreen operability and other aspects of UX user experience were designed to be easy to use for the general public. So I think this model can suit anyone. That he thought this handheld display is very wide. And we also hope the CX will be useful not only for enterprise but for a variety of small businesses that deal with spaces. Spaces, 就是还是拍 virtual tour 这些人。I'm sure there will be various functionality requests, but we would like to respond we where we can with plugin and firmware update in the future. 啊，当然，其实啊，呼声最高的还是肉哥是，现在就是一直没给，后面不清楚会不会通过插件或者叫固件的方式进行升级。We hope the C X will be used for both work and private use. We would be happy if this new model can be used in any situation, no matter how you choose to make most of it. In the next article, we bring you an episode of UI Planning Redesign. This is CDX's whole team. I would say people are not many. This is almost all of their members. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. The top level is CDX's general manager, called Shinobu Fujiki. Shinobu Fujiki is him. We have also mentioned him on the show. He is the CEO of CDX's general manager, called Shinobu Fujiki. 好，咱们接下来看下一篇文章，叫它的这个触控 UI 的设计。CX is the first in the series to feature a large touchscreen on the seat itself, making it even easier to use. However, in the conclusion of the touchscreen was a challenge for the seat development team, which required a creation of new seat UI from scratch. 那这个就意味着要把要从头开始设计一套 UI 基于这个触控屏。实际上你会发现，这个触控屏呢，很多交互设计还是借鉴了现在的 App。但是确实是针对于这个屏幕进行了专门的这个定制和优化。Here we interview the project manager， 就是这四个人，这刚才我们说过了。那么这个清水邮件，呃，这个人叫啥、啊？他他 K 是一这个人，这个人好像之前没渡边无史，好像是他这个人渡边无史。然后这两个人刚才咱们已经说过了。Touch screen UI consideration 是他们怎么考虑这件事的。We led the decision to equip C X with touch screen the first in the series. Since the launch of the CDX series, it has been a necessity to connect the smartphone or view the images and change details in settings. As CDX becomes popular, more and more people want restrictive photography to be accessible and easy. 就是大家其实希望 CDX 是一个真正的相机，而一个真正的相机应该是带一个取景屏的，就这么一个逻辑。With previous CDX models, images has to be transferred to the smartphone before the user could see the images, resulting in a A lag before they could show them the people they are with. 就是这个分享的过程啊，呃，是有一些时间的这个成本的。I suppose this was one of the reasons why people thought that 360 camera were cumbersome to use. 这就是使用门槛高的地方。那么这件事实际上至今
C 台 X 解决是最好的，其次是呢 Insta 三六零，就是在这个传传输链条上，因为 C 台 X 呢是希望把它做成一个叫 stand alone 一体式，完全一体式相机，你不需要用 app 就可以进行分享了。而 Insta 三六零呢是要接入 app 的，而且它的 app 做的是非常漂亮的。We thought that if we resolve this hassle by playing back 360 images immediately on the spot with a large touchscreen, more people would try 360 cameras. 就是把它门槛做得更低。Indeed, one of the key aspects of Cita was the images that could only be viewed on a smartphone. In addition, Cita V and Z1 are now equipped with Android operating system, allow plugging in developed in Cita. However, Cita V and Cita Z1 don't have a touchscreen on the unit. So there are significant functional restrictions. 就是如果你的相机上没有触控屏的话，你的很多交互设计的就面临很多的约束了。就 significant functional restrictions， 很明显的就是重大的功能限制，你的交互手段太有限。And there is a lack of freedom in terms of application operating ability. In order to further expand the possibility of Cita plugin development in the future, we wanted to incorporate a large touchscreen in the next model. 那么这句话的信息量就很很丰富了啊，朋友们。那么他希望就把这个理光插件系统，那么给它用的更好用。We want to incorporate a large touchscreen in the next model。那这个 next model 指的是 C 台 X 之后的那个 model 还是 C 台 X 呢？好像是一个一语双关的感觉。How did you consider the new UI on the touchscreen？ 那你怎么考虑这件事情呢 ？Early in our consideration, we knew that the key point of C 台 X would be the touchscreen UI。那是 C X 从一开始立项的时候，就把整个的这个触控屏的设计作为一个关键的要点了。There was no one in charge of UI design within development team， 就是从来没有一个人有过这方面的经验。I thought it would take a long time for everyone to discuss the preliminary UI ideas. So since I was in charge of planning the unit, I drafted the first UI transition diagram. 就是整个的，呃，这套交互的逻辑和框架呢，是清水右介设计的。我不知道他用什么软件啊？是用用了这个，就 Axure 还是还是用了 Figma、Figma 呢 ？So you were in charge of planning also UI design. 所以清水优介不光是产品策划，还是 UI 的一个负责人。呃、uh, ，We had to create UI from scratch, but creating something from scratch is not something we get to experience very often. I want to challenge myself to create the best UI I could think of, so I volunteer to draft UI. 应该说。清水优介还是挺值得人去尊敬的，因为他是叫自告奋勇去画这个 UI。实际上，咱们频道也曾经给酷看八 K 还画过 UI， 只不过最终啊还没有实现。我不知道他们后面会不会去把它做出来。呃、uh, ，And before I knew it, I found myself in charge of UI designs. Laughs。那既然你自告奋勇去做这个 UI 草图了，那那你就是 UI 的负责人了。<笑>所以说，呃，他的这个他就笑了嘛。<笑>那么这个笑实际上，呃。还是挺有深意的，这个呵呵这个懂的人应该到这里应该就懂了，我觉得就我们就不用展开讲太多。Since this was the first UI you had created, there must have been a lot of discussion among the project members. 所以呢，这后面就有很多内部的讨论了。When we put the UI proposal into concrete specification, we had to make sure that the software control and the specifications were completely in line with each other. 所以它和整个的相机的这个指指标设计呢，还是要紧密的连在一起的。Therefore, we there are detailed check among the development members for the age specification. 所以呢，这个就是你的交互跟你的产品的体验，这个是要要对等的。I feel that many of the people in charge of planning and developing the data are not all talk, but are actually enthusiastic, willing to work towards making it happen. 那其实这就是在一个公司里面啊，啊你去。打开了一个新的领域的时候，那么，呃，一部分志同道合的人，那么他虽然不会去口头上去说或者去去支持你，但是他们会在实际行动中去帮助你去共同实现你的目标。所以这个就是一件很很有意思的事情。As a software developer, my job to take Mr. Shimizu, who is in charge of planning, wants to do incorporate into actual specification. I was happy to help him realize his idea of touchscreen UI optimized for Cita and make sure Cita users found easy to use. 那这个就是要把它做的足够的好用。那么这个叫专为 C 塔而优化的触控的交互的设计。There must have been a lot of development work check since Cita X can now be operated not only from Cita app for smartphones but also directly onto touch screen。那么这就是整个的开发工作量还是比较大的，而且呢，其实要把呃
它并不是简单的把 C 的 App 从智能手机上去移植到了。整个的触控屏上，它不是简单的这么做，而是重新从头设计了一套交互的框架。那么这是另外一个人，这是一个新的角色，叫角田。With the newly added， 这里这角田这个人实际上没有出现在里面啊。The newly added touchscreen s e t a x can be operated directly on the on the screen and well as in s e t a app。就是你,你不光可以用触控屏去控制它，你还可以同时用 s e t a 的 app 去控制。这里面其实交互起来，交互起来就更复杂了。This means that The man hour required for evaluation were doubled compared to past development cycles. 这就说明你需要有两套班子，一部分人去迭代这个 app， 一部分人去迭代这个交互的。你可以理解为是相机内部的这个 app 和相机外部的 app. We had devised a way to efficiently reduce the time and efforts development review would take. 那好在就是其实大家都有都是基于同一个安卓框架的，所以有些内容应该是可以共用的。So there were a variety of issues that differ from the development of previous model. 从这开发这个流程和逻辑上来说，和以往产品都很不一样。The all development team members, including Mr. Shimizu, put so much efforts into the new CDX UI. If we release a new model with the touch screen in the future, it will be based on their hard work. 应该说，清水优介等一些人啊，还是付出了巨大的这个付努力的。Concept of CDX UI， 这是 CDX UI 的一个设计的概念。What is the concept behind the CDX UI? We were conscious of creating a UI that can be quickly and easy to operate, just your thumb like a smartphone. 他希望做到跟智能手机一样的这个交互的逻辑和易用性 as well as make it easy to recognizable when used in conjunction with the CDX smartphone app. We were also careful not to deviate too much from UI typical small cameras. 而他他并不想从传统的这种相机的交互的界面上去发散的太多，这 deviate 这是关键词语，偏离太多。Space is limited on the shooting screen, but it has well balanced arrangement of icons. 就是这个屏幕的尺寸虽然很有限，但是整个的设计的布局很合理。The shooting screen always appear first when C X is turned on, so it also serves the home screen. 所以整个的这个。呃，实时取景的画面实际上是它的这个这个主画面 （home screen）， 这和这个手机是不一样的。手机是桌面嘛 ？The shooting screen effectively displays the necessary information, including buttons for switching between frequently used functions. 这就是一些，其实这个和手机的这个交互设计有点像了，就是整个拍摄的界面呢，可以在一些就是就就这个按钮啊，或者一些常用的模式之间进行快速切换。那这个人就松下，这是一个新新出现的角色。Although CX has a large LCD for CETA, the screen is smaller than a typical smartphone screen. For this reason, we took into consideration the size, the text, the buttons, as well as balance between them in terms of design. The shooting screen actually displays a live preview. Therefore, it was necessary to provide both comfortable viewing of the preview image and easy to understand buttons layout. 就是这个地方，你的 UI 实际上是要叠在这个实时渲染画上方的。你既要保证这个画面不被尽可能不被遮挡，同时呢，还要让整个画面的这个排布和交互的方式尽可能的就是易于理解。By swapping on the shooting screen, other menu screens are displayed, right? Yes, by swapping the edge of screen, 就是从上下左右去滑动的时候，你都可以看到不同的界面。这个咱们频道给大家做过详细的这个分析和解读。The playback screen, which displays swiping from left to right on the shooting screen, allow users to immediately view the images they just took. 当然，这个目前也会成为现在很多运动相机的一个主流的交互的逻辑。Uh, being able to check 360 video photos on the screen immediately after taking them is very convenient. 就是你拍完立刻能看到，就是很关键的一个体验。We designed a camera setting screen, which is displayed by swiping down from the top of the screen with smartphone-like layout operating in mind. 那么它也也借鉴了很多呃智能手机上的一些交互的逻辑和它的这个思维方式。Functions that are likely to be turned on and off are indicated by large icons. 应该说，呃，这六个按键和后面的一系列的这个菜单，呃，这个还是很符合人的直觉的。Client mode settings for direct connection between the wireless LAN router and CETA, as well as connecting settings for Bluetooth devices. 那这里面就有这个无线网，包括蓝牙的这个连接的设置 ，can easily be set up with the same ease or as with smartphone， 这就跟手机是一样的
This is another benefit of the touchscreen UI. 你应该说这个 UI 从手机的这个设计上借鉴了不少设计的语言。The plugin selection display appears by swapping from right to left. 就是那个插件的界面从右向左滑。There's no longer a limit of ton numbers of plugins. 因为这次有屏幕了，所以说插件的数量就不受限了。原来是只有三个插件，以至于原来我们需要装一个呃开启插件列表的插件来去解锁无穷多的插件。所以这个是一个套娃的设计。现在有屏幕之后。就非常好用了。In addition, plugin can now be installed using Sita itself by connecting Wi-Fi in client mode. 就是你用呃客户端模式可以直接呢去连接到 Sita， 并且呢可以去进行呃选择和在线安装。With Sita X, we can operate various plugin menus on the touch screen. We designed the plugin guide to be displayed at startup. The plugin can also be easily organized. On the list or deleted, 就是你可以调排序、删除都可以，就和你删除一个 app 是一样的，很简单，而且呢很直观。We took, we can look forward to even more fun if more and more CDX plugins are developed. 就是现在的这个插件还比较少，后面的增加之后，应该说会更更有意思。The number of supported plugins 就是目前的这个插件还是支持比较少，呃，但是它会逐渐的增加。然后呢，就是这个 ，we will also be happy to, if outside developers will try their hands at developing plugin for CX. 所以呢，这 CX 目前正在去筹划，向第三方开发者给出一些很详细的关于 API 的这个教程，包括历程。这个会帮助第三方开发者快速去开发出属于他们自己的这种克制化的插件。The vision of CX, the CX 的整个的设计的这种考虑。What kind of people do you expect to use Cita X in the future? 那你希望将来有哪些人可以使用 Cita X 呢？这个人好像之前角田。呃、uh, ，I think Cita is unique in that it can be used both for business and hobbies. 就是你上拍商片可以，它有十 K 的分辨率。你用爱好者也可以。像咱们频道就是一个爱好者。I would like to see Cita X further establish its unique position as a versatile camera that can be used for. A wide range of purposes without specializing in one thing. 他希望 Cita X 呢是一个叫一专多能的一个相机，就是它并不是只在某一方面非常强，但是它在它希望它在每方方面面都是能够做到尽善尽美的。这个叫一专多能，因为它确实在拍地产的方面是非常强悍的，但它其他方面的话也不弱。I would like to encourage both people who have heard that Cita before those who have not tried Cita X. We hope to hear op opinions of anyone who used and look forward to a variety of perspective. 但是 CX 说实话，整个团队的人还是比较少的，所以他，呃，对于这个大家用户的反馈呢，整个的这个接受度啊，包括迭代的效率呢，还是需要提高的。这一点一三三零做的就比较的强。It was tough at times to consider the new UI, but I think we all work closely together towards a common goal. When the prototypes were built, every team member was trying out and gave a lot of feedback, which allowed us to improve the product. 那么这里面刚才也说过了，就是一些市场的这些同事啊，整个的把做了很多反馈，就让这个 CX 在发售之前，呃，就已经完成了很多的迭代了。The development marketing team are, so to speak, the first users for any new product. 就是市场部的这个人啊，一般来说是产品的第一批用户。如果他们都用不好的话，那么你很难指望这个产品在市面上能够卖爆。They gave me their honest, unfiltered perspective. <笑>这个词很有意思 ，unfiltered 就是叫忠诚、忠实的，以及不带偏见的，毫无保留的这种反馈。Which led to various UI changes before mass production. 在整个的 mass production 之前呢，就做了很多改进。We created CX with a lot of persistence, and we hope that people will experience CX with the reborn UI. 应该说，这个有这个 UI 还是给人印象非常深刻的。那么，这是再次引用这个照片。那么这就是第二篇文章。那么这两篇文章我们读完之后，应该说，呃，收获还是蛮多的。就是你可以学到很多。如果尤其是，呃，你是一个对产品比较感兴趣的朋友的话，你会在这个文章里面去看到非常非常多的它的这个设计的背后的逻辑和思考。那么这就是本期视频的全部内容了。那么这个视频应该说很长也很枯燥。就是如果大家对于视频不感兴趣的话，很可能是坚持不到这里的。但是如果你还在坚持看的话，你可以弹幕里扣一告诉我一下，像这样的视频可能是咱们频道将来会重点去做的一些视频，因为这个是研究产品、研究技术，还是这个讨论这个交互的使用体验的。那么这个是咱们频道非常感兴趣的，也是咱们频道希望将来能够一直致力于去做的一系列的视频。
。那如果你的视频对你有帮助的话，千万不要忘了点赞、转发、三连。咱们呢，下期视频再见。